If you've never heard of Ikigai before, you're missing out on a really nice lifestyle that can help you live a meaningful life. Ikigai is all about doing what you love and what you're good at and how your special gifts can help the world. So in this video, I'm going to give you the lowdown on what Ikigai is, where it comes from, and how you can start figuring out your own Ikigai. This is Ikigai for beginners. Hey there, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Tim. I'm the author of a book called How to Ikigai. I've been doing what I love to do and what I'm good at since I was 21 years old. So that's a whole year now. This channel is all about Ikigai and balancing out your success with joy. I'm here to help you do more you. So now what is Ikigai? Well, Ikigai is life purpose in a shell. Literally, Ikigai originated 2000 years ago because of a beautiful, rare red oyster shell. It comes from Okinawa, Japan, a tiny batch of 113 islands south of the main islands of Japan. Quite honestly, these islands are in the middle of the ocean. The people of Okinawa have lived in these islands for thousands of years. They were surrounded by beautiful ocean that gave them a wide selection of things to eat, like fish and sea cucumbers and seaweed and shellfish. Seafood played a big role in Ikigai. You see, when you live on an island, you are literally surrounded by food, but it's hard to get to. So it takes a unique talent to get shellfish from the floor of the ocean. This task became the work of the women in Okinawa. And these women would dive to the bottom of the ocean and gather up whatever food they could find. So they were the island's providers. These women were called ama divers and they would start diving at a very young age. Over time, they would gain the ability to dive deeper and deeper to gather up seafood. The ama divers would gather at the shores each day with their sharp stones and their large floating wooden tubs. And on the beach, they would visit and laugh and catch up on the gossip that was happening. And they really, really enjoyed being with each other, not only on shore, but when they're out in the water. Ama divers would swim out with their wooden tubs to a location they felt would be bountiful, and then they would start to dive down. Now, these ladies were extraordinarily skilled at holding their breath when they're diving. Some ama could dive down as deep as 80 feet below the surface and stay down there for minutes at a time. One of the items that they looked for when they were under the water was a red thorny oyster that was only found in Okinawa. This oyster shell was really beautiful and it was quite unique. Uh, in fact, it was prized by the rich people on the main islands of Japan. When you found one of these shells, it was kind of like finding a gold nugget on the bottom of the ocean. So these shells were very exciting to find. It was hard work to be an ama diver, but it was also very rewarding. If you've ever been good at anything, you know how amazing it feels to just thrive at it. And as the ama continued their helpful tradition, they began to appreciate what they did more and more. They began calling their daily ritual ikikai, or life shell, after those red oyster shells. Over the centuries though, the word ikikai morphed into ikigai, or life's worth. Imagine how rewarding it would be to not only provide food for your family and community, but also bring home shells that they could trade. These ama divers loved their work and they recognized that their great skill combined with great appreciation from their community was very rewarding. They wanted to do that ama diving again and again. So ama divers to this day still dive regularly and the oldest ama are in their 80s. Ikigai became a lifestyle that others on the islands would also adopt for their own work. Uh, they would find something that they were very good at and uh, that they really enjoyed to do. Then they would share it with their community. And that is the essence of anyone's Ikigai, is to use your unique gifts and share them with others. In return, they provide rewards and thanks back to you. This concept of Ikigai has been a big part of the Okinawan culture for centuries but its definition of life's worth just barely scratches the surface. If you were to look up Ikigai today on the internet, you'd find a very commonly referred to Venn diagram that explains Ikigai in a more modern way. Here's that Venn diagram. As you can see, the Venn diagram shows that Ikigai is a four step map for finding your life's worth. Each of these four circles represents one of the directions you follow to figure out your own Ikigai. Starting at the top, step one is to do what you love and then do what you're good at, then do what the world needs, and finally do what you can be rewarded for. 
Now in the center where all those four circles converge is the sweet spot, that is Ikigai. The confluence of those four actions is the secret to Ikigai. You see, Ikigai is an action or a natural gift that you possess that you can share with others. Like I said, this Venn diagram is a modern representation of what Ikigai's actions represent. The Venn diagram, by the way, was created by a philanthropist named Mark Wynn. So what do you think your Ikigai is? If you'd like to learn more, you can check out my Skillshare course. It's called Do What You Love, Create a Meaningful Life with Ikigai. In fact, you can check it out for free for a month at the link below. If you sign up with my link though, I get a little bit of commission just so you know. But thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot about Ikigai today. And here's to you, do more you.